Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So summer is coming and I thought it'd be the perfect time to make a video on how to shadow a physician or how to shadow a doctor and um, maybe getting into that. I did mention it briefly in a video that I made called tips for pre-meds. I'll link it up here. Um, but this video I'll go more into depth because apparently a lot of you guys still have questions about it. Um, I personally started shadowing a physician through a referral. I worked in a histology core, in a histology lab kind of thing, and one of my lab partners, or the person that I worked with, knew a physician that was taking students. So he pulled some strings and was able to get me in. So a lot of this is actually not what you know, but who you know. So I'm going to go over some avenues that you can start out with um, that can potentially get you into a shadowing position. So tip number one, I would say um, start out with your school counselor or um, any pre-medical association that is with your school or college. Sometimes the school already has connections with physicians who are taking students or they can point you in the right direction. I know most of the time this isn't very helpful because the schools know nothing. Um, but it's a good place to start. Tip number two. So everyone has like a yearly checkup or you should get a yearly checkup. Um, the easiest time is to go in with your family doctor and ask if he or she is willing to take students. If you're not interested in family medicine, um, maybe you can ask him or her if they know any other specialties that you're interested in. Like say you're interested in dermatology or um, radiology, things of that sort, ask them if they know any physicians who are willing to take students. Um, maybe even if you're not interested in family medicine, you can shadow in the office for a couple times, build that rapport, and then he, he or she will be more willing to introduce you to other physicians. And it's also good to work the front desk and see how um, the medical administration part works as well. Uh, tip number three. You can call hospitals or clinics directly um, and ask if they're taking students. So I didn't do this specifically because I went through clinical career extenders. Um, it's like a special program, but I was able to volunteer in the hospital. Also, if you're um, so if you're in the hospital and you can't necessarily shadow a doctor because they're too busy, there's always PAs or nurses or nurse practitioners that you can shadow, and that's a good stepping stone to shadowing a physician. I don't feel like there's any harm in asking and putting yourself out there. A lot of this is up to you and how much work you're willing to put in and how much um, of a commitment you're willing to do. Tip number four. So as I was saying, it's not a lot of what you know and it's who you know. You can ask a lot of your bio professors, um, anyone who is doing um, research and things like that. Most of the time they know physicians who are willing to take students and especially because they're in academia, they might know more people who are interested in teaching. So you can always start there and ask. I know when I was doing my plastics rotation, um, one of the docs actually did a speech at a school for his daughter, and then he was saying he was willing to take students, and so you never know. You just, you can go into a random office actually and ask if they're taking any students. Most of the time they'll do a background check or they'll just take um, a copy of your ID or something like that. Tip number five, if all fails, you can always ask Dr. Google. Google different hospitals, different clinics that are in your area, ask your parents. Um, it's a good resource. You can call directly, send emails. As I said, shadowing and shadowing opportunities are made when you make them. There's no one else that can just hand them to you. And if there is someone who can hand them to you, usually there's a long waiting list of lots of other students who would want to shadow and get these experiences. So I wish you guys the best of luck. And um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.